the owner of this home had no idea that this creepy old woman with a knife in her hand was at his door in the middle of the night until he woke up the next morning. Some people say that she's possessed. I say she's senile. She was very reluctant to ring the doorbell. If she did, the owner would have woken up. What do you think would have happened? In this video looks like an abduction of a woman at gunpoint in Richmond Hill, Ontario. The man steps out of the car carrying what looks like a handgun threatening to kill the woman before putting her in the car. These owners of a ring doorbell camera saw a motion detection video in which a person walks by but the upper body seems to be transparent. If you pay attention, you will see that the upper body is never seen beyond the right side of the tree, but footsteps are still heard. As this woman is frantically ringing the doorbell, she is actually trying to get away from her boyfriend, Victor Kuchik. In the background, you can hear him say that he will get the gun from the car. In this video, it happened to be a day that was not Halloween. The owner of the house says that she thought it was UPS because it was 8 p.m., so she ignored the door. To her surprise, the package was not there. She checked her camera and found a character from the movie Trick or Treat just standing at her door. What do you think would have happened if she would have opened that door?
in November of 2019 in the Los Angeles neighborhood. People were shocked to hear a woman screaming, somebody help me please, and a man responding with sorry. The people in the neighborhood were frightened due to the nature of her screams. This lady was a victim of an attempted kidnapping. This video simply just shows a creepy woman going to a house saying random things. Maybe she was on drugs, drunk, but it could be anything. You never know who you run into. Let me know what you think she says in the comments section. Mom. On January 1st, 2020, Darnell Rogers got into a dispute with his then-girlfriend over money. They both left their four-week-old baby in the car. Darnell chased her as she ran for help. He claims he did not remember the incident the next morning. In May of 2019, Gerald Haywood was visiting his friend Rodney Copeland. As you see, it seems like a normal day until Gerald gets bit by a snake on his eyelid. Following the incident, he was taken to the hospital and one of the neighbors killed the snake that was wrapped around the porch lamp. Rodney claims that he thought Gerald was playing a prank when he ran in the house. Gerald suffered only minor injuries. Here you can see the chilling moments when a mother in Fort Worth, Texas is trying to rescue her eight-year-old daughter from what looks like a kidnapper's car. You can hear the pain in her voice as she calls for help. The man in the car, Michael Webb, approached the two while they were walking down their street. He was caught the next day. Then, less than 12 hours later, the big break. Two church members heeding law enforcement's call for help on social media, spotting the vehicle in the parking lot of this hotel. These guys are our heroes. You know, we're here in police uniform with badges and guns, and everybody calls us heroes. 
And now we have two citizens that went out of our way. Heroes indeed. Authorities arrived at that hotel about 10 miles southeast of Fort Worth, busting down the door of the room where they say the suspect was holding Salem. He's now in custody facing aggravated kidnapping charges. Police say Salem is in good condition.